Now in this next set of video tutorials, we're going to be talking about form elements. And working with forms is probably a very important element for anybody in web development because, as you probably well know, having filled out many a form yourself online, they are an integral part of most modern websites. So in order to take a better look at how Dreamweaver handles forms and ultimately how we can also style some of these forms, what I want you to do is to first and foremost define a site going towards the practice files that are on your desktop. So if you've been following along with us and you have the files that you've downloaded from KillerSites.com. We can go to site, new site, and we'll define a new site. Let's call it Stitch in Time. And Stitch in Time, as you'll see, is the name of the website that we're going to be using. So if you go to your website, uh, your desktop rather, and you go to your practice folder, go to Chapter 5 where you'll see a Stitch in Time and Stitch in Time Complete. If you want to take a look at the complete version, you can open it up just by going through here. But we're going to use the Stitch in Time basic one because it doesn't have the form elements in place. And we're going to put them together ourselves. So I'll save this. And as you can see, we now happen to have a little bit of information inside here. Let's take a look. If you double click the index page, basically, and we could even you know, check it out in live code or, excuse me, rather live view if you wish. And you can see how those things will react. And it's just basically the three column layout that we had before, except I've included this small little element in the head section. So you can check that out. You can preview it in your browsers. You can take a look at how these things look. And as you can see, that's kind of what I've got going on here. It's a very simple design. All I've done is replaced what was in the head section with this image and, you know, styled some color and some text and stuff like that. So rather than having to repeat that, you can feel free to build that on your own if you wish. I've provided you with that image and it'd be good practice for you. But nevertheless, what we want to concentrate on are the files inside the web folder. Now if you'll notice the about page is blank and so is the portfolio page. If you want to create your four page website, remember what I was doing in the previous example was you know we made our links and then we just said save as. And for example if we were to look at the contact page this page has already been saved as. And what I've done is I've just included everything in here except the fact that your contact us is the only thing that's left. It's your headline. And as you can see, if we split this view into something that we can see a little bit better in our code view, you'll find that, you know, this area here has the information. We could even remove that paragraph. We don't need that as well. So what we're going to do is to implement on this page a form element. So let's come back in the next video and we'll do that together.